Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to GameHog's Top 10. Today we're going to be counting down the top 10 arcade games. At number 10, it's Donkey Kong. Released in 1981, Donkey Kong was responsible for bringing the world not only the titular barrel-throwing gorilla, but also a certain famous jumping mustachioed plumber with a penchant for mushrooms, back then known simply as Jumpman. Playing as Mario, uh, I mean Jumpman, the point of the game was to climb to the top of the screen, avoiding obstacles and saving the damsel in distress. Notoriously tricky and fast-paced, the game became an instant barrel-jumpingly fun arcade classic. The game had such enormous success that it's still played today in unusual competitive circuits, even inspiring a documentary called King of Kong. People think that the machine is possessed. The average Donkey Kong game doesn't last a minute. It's absolute brutality. Number 9. The Star Wars Trilogy Ah, the childhood is strong with this one. Despite the original 1983 Star Wars arcade game being incredibly successful, this game took the full trilogy of games and made it into an epic arcade masterpiece. The rail shooter game included several key settings from the films, including the Death Star, Hoth, and also Endor. If you beat the game, you dueled Vader. If the other kids around you hadn't distracted you before you got there. Number 8. Dance Dance Revolution is there such a thing as being too good at a weird game? Maybe. Whilst it wasn't the first rhythm game, it really brought the genre into the mainstream, and for a long period of the 90s had a place in almost every arcade around. Also, because it's 2016, you know there's still people competing in it. Number 7. Mortal Kombat on the 8th of October 1992, the world was introduced to this blood-soaked answer to Street Fighter II. Featuring a unique fighting system and a controversially graphic fatality system, the game gathered a lot of popularity as well as infamy. Mortal Kombat went on to dominate success as an arcade game and was later released worldwide on almost every available platform, on a day dubbed Mortal Monday, marking every parent's worst nightmare as children around the world screamed at each other. <laughs> Number 6. Sega Rally Every cocky teenager was taught to drive by this machine. Sega Rally and its sequels were arcade racing games released in the 90s, known for their cool graphics and unique steering system. The biggest selling point of these games was the ability to drive on different surfaces like asphalt, gravel and grass, which would affect your steering wheel and would almost tear your underdeveloped, pasty, scrawny arms from their sockets in the process. If you've never ended up playing the original, fear not. They're all pretty much identical. Number 5. House of the Dead. The second you run into an arcade, do you not pick up the guns and start pointing them at things making pew pew noises? If so, then you definitely played House of the Dead as a child. Released in Japan in September 96 and worldwide in March 97, House of the Dead saw you using the light gun controller to shoot your way through hordes of the undead and other monsters that were genuinely pretty creepy. Boasting excellent co-op gameplay, as well as cool bosses and a good story, House of the Dead was a coin-guzzlingly good game. Number 4. Time Crisis. Well, if you didn't point guns at zombies in your youth, you definitely pointed them at these... police... army... dudes. Similar to Virtua Cop and House of the Dead, the game revolves around the light gun controller, but added the new addition of the cover pedal, letting you press the pedal to jump out of cover and fire at the... dudes. With the sequel introducing the split-screen multiplayer option, the series has left a huge mark on the world of arcade gaming. In at number 3, we have Repetitive Strain Injury 2, I mean Street Fighter 2. Released in 1994, it was the sequel to everybody's favourite game, Street Fighter 1. No? Me neither. With excellent multiplayer, a host of cool characters and killer move combos, Street Fighter 2 really perfected the fighting game formula and instantly became a worldwide sensation. In 1995, the game had gross revenues of over $2.3 billion and was Capcom's best-selling game of all time until 2013, when it was surpassed by Resident Evil 5. It was later released on every game's console under the sun, allowing players to button bash the shit out of their controllers and beat down even the most seasoned of Street Fighter veterans. Number 2. Space Invaders Increase speed! Drop down! Reverse direction! This feels like a game that doesn't need much introduction. Being one of the forerunners of modern video gaming and helping expand the industry, Space Invaders was a game of skill that really put arcade games on the map. Featuring unique pixel aliens and a revolutionary sound design for the industry, the game broke many records and became an unprecedented pedestal that was aimed for by many games for decades to come. Also a game that's never caused so much panic in the final moments of a round. Uh, uh. 
Ah! Oh, thank God. Finally, at number one, it's Pac-Man. This yellow-faced, featureless pie chart fellow has been a part of our lives right from his inception. When Pac-Man was released in 1980, the most popular arcade video games at the time were space shooters, in particular Space Invaders and Asteroids. Pac-Man is often credited with being a landmark in video game history for breaking that trend, and is among the most famous arcade games of all time. It's also one of the highest grossing video games of all time, having generated more than $2.5 billion in quarters by the 1990s. The game became a pop culture icon in the 1980s, as well as becoming a social phenomenon, spawning wide ranges of merchandise and various other media. As well as having the highest brand awareness of any game, it also features as part of a collection at New York's Museum of Modern Art. Well guys, we hope you enjoyed this top 10 list. If we didn't mention any of the games that you'd like to see in our list, let us know in the comments section. Be sure to like and subscribe for more top 10 videos.